I can prove it because in my heart I don't say I think I hope I say I know and you know there's another element in our lives that we don't think much about and that's the element of faith you think of the faith that you have to have every day you have to have faith that your wife didn't put poison in your coffee this morning you have to have faith in her she might have felt like it but she didn't you have to have faith in the bank when you write a check and sign it and you have money in the bank you have to have faith that the bank's gonna pay it you have to have faith in the government when you pull out a dollar bill now I know it's shrinking but you have faith that back of it is a dollar that people will accept it as money everything we do is by faith now for example when I come up on a hill and I live in the mountains of North Carolina and we have a lot of hills I don't stop my car before I get to the crest of the hill and get out and walk over and see if somebody's coming up the other side on the wrong side I have faith to believe that the drivers are gonna stay on their side faith 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 everything when you sat in that chair had you ever sat in that chair before I bet you didn't pick it up and examine it and put your hands on it to see if it would hold you. By faith you just sat down in it. You had faith that people wouldn't build a chair that wouldn't hold you. Everything we do is by faith. All right, take the same faith. Put it in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you will know who Jesus is. You accept him by faith and he comes into your life and into your heart and you know that he's who he claims to be. <laughs> On that Damascus road that I referred to a moment ago, the Apostle Paul said, Who art thou, Lord? And then Paul asked him another question. Paul said, what do you want me to do, Lord? And Jesus said, arise and go. I'm asking you today to arise and come to him. Now, some of you can ridicule. Some of you can reject him. Some can just put it off and say, I'm going to wait till another time. Or you can accept him as your Lord and your Savior and your Master and the Son of God and He will come into your heart and forgive your sin and change your life. Jesus Christ Superstar Judas don't get me wrong I only want to know he said and then the haunting chorus Jesus Christ Superstar do you think you are what they say you are? Yes! and more, 10,000 times more than two men in England ever put in those lyrics is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And you are asked today to receive him. In fact, if you're going to go to heaven, the Bible teaches, you have to receive him. If you're going to have your sins forgiven, you have to.